Where has failure been most helpful in your education as an entrepreneur? Learning how to fail is one of the most important aspects of being an entrepreneur. Um, some people do that very naturally and they just fail and it's kind of, it's easy and they, they go on and move on. I'm not that person. Um, when I fail, you know, it's hard and it's like, pff, oh, it, it's a failure, right? Um, but learning how to deal with that, anticipate it, um, kind of be like, yeah, that's, you know, we, if you try out things, certain things not going to work out. That is totally normal and accepting that um, has been one of the most important aspects of my life and I believe um, that what, what you can really learn is to make that part of your life as an entrepreneur to take the time and really reflect on failures and I believe there is there is failure which is total failure and you just uh, went into insolvency or have bankruptcy that's a very extreme version of failure but there are many small failures which is which are easy to to overlook um, and I give you one example which how how I, for example, try to deal with that. Um, with one of my co-founders at Sandbox, um, a very close friend, which I know for a long time, we meet every half a year for a full day where we not just debrief our projects, but we debrief our lives. We, we, we write down everything that happens and we systematically go through what was good, what was bad, what worked, what didn't, what learnings can we take out of it. And because we know that lots of things fail, you know, and it's totally normal. And being able to really take that seriously, um, invest the time to take learnings out of that in a project environment as well as in a personal environment is very, very valuable.